we heard from a young student who said, I'm going to school and I'm being sent home. The principal, he told me I couldn't like wear skirts so just like regular female clothing that any of the other girls could wear. He made me report into his office every morning before class to make sure what I was wearing was appropriate to him. For him to try to like put a barrier up against like me trying to better my life was, you know, it was really hard for me. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't the first thing we thought of to file a case. We tried to negotiate, we tried to come up with some alternatives, and it really was just such an, an old world, old school experience to have him respond and say, absolutely not, not in my school. He brought in the superintendent, and the superintendent said, well, um, if you don't like what we have to say, take it to court, sue us, so. That really ultimately led us to have to. Do what they told me to do. File a lawsuit in order to, um, fix the problem that seemed to be going on. The courts were pretty swift and pretty clear in issuing opinions that said, this is not the student's problem. <laughs> the school needs to fix its lack of understanding. Once they said that, you know, that our case won, or that, you know, it was always so relieving to me because, like, I knew that I wasn't doing anything wrong. I thought it was really hopeful. It gave me the sense that not just Trina in her case, but other students across the Commonwealth could, could have a sense of empowerment, that they are deserving of respect in schools. I felt like I opened a lot of doors for a lot of other people that are in my situation.